Hi everybody, Patrick here. Uh, a few years ago, uh, I made a video called Let's Blow Up Some Super Capacitors, or something to that end. And back when uh, I had a multitude of different values, I was just blowing up some really, really tiny super capacitors, uh, one farad or less, typically in the area of um, 500 millifarads. Uh, up to five farads, I think, in the video. Anyway, nothing spectacular. How I blew them up was reversing polarity. Uh, so charging on the negative, placing the positive on the negative, negative on the positive. Now here's a 400 farad supercapacitor that I'm willing to sacrifice uh, for science. Now I don't recommend you do this at home and uh, at all because I've got no idea how this is going to behave so I'm going to try to do this as safely as humanly possible. I don't want to, uh, for anyone or anything to get hurt. I don't even know if it's going to be spectacular or not. I imagine probably not. It'll probably just make some smoke. But this bad boy is a used 400 farad 2.7 volt capacitor. So if I charge it like 5 amps, it'll take at least a few minutes to fully charge it up. But I'm not going to try to charge it up. I'm going to try placing my power supply at 5 amps, positive to the negative, along the negative stripe. So here, and my negative <coughs> on the positive. Now before we do that, let's just check out and see what the voltage is, voltage is currently on this thing. So currently, we have 0.35 volts on there. I wonder, before we do this, if we can burn a wire. Let's try, with only 0.3 volts. I'm not so sure if this is going to work, but I've got some stranded wire here. Let's just try to short these out at 3.5 volts or 0.35 volts I'm guessing not nope I guess not not enough juice on this thing if this were fully charged I would incinerate these wires anyway for science let's go blow it up okay so I've got capacitor hooked up to the power supply the power supply is turned on but not plugged in Pretend Got the house protected by a door, and again, I don't know what's going to happen. And I've got this plastic shield over top. I'm going to set up the, uh, I'm going to set up the uh, tripod, and then we're just going to see what happens. If I was to make a wager, I'd expect to see it just blow it some steam. In which case, I hope it's not a ton because it's quite close to the house, and I'm going to really anger my wife if she sees what I'm doing. So, in any case. Press the power on, and I'll plug it in, and then I intend on running. Plugging it in now. If I was to make a wager as to what's going on, the internal protection has kicked in. If there is internal protection on this thing, it's taking five amps in reverse polarity, so whatever's going to happen won't happen by now. I'm going to unplug. And I officially think that that thing is too dangerous to touch. It's probably very hot. Anyway, a very disappointing uh, result. I'm going to leave that be and I'm going to toss it in the trash. I apologize for the lackluster end of the video. Again, what I assumed happened is there's probably a uh, a protection diode on the inside of this thing and uh, if that's burned out or or whatever then what's going to happen is it's just going to create a direct bridge from point A to point B bypassing the capacitor that's just my best guess but either way um, this capacitor did not blow up it is garbage I will not be using it again so a very lackluster end of the video. If you want to see some smaller supercapacitors pop, please check out the link below. I am sorry for the, again, lackluster video. These are CAMCAP supercapacitors, K-A-M-C-A-P. And I guess they are designed quite well so that they cannot boil and blow up or at the very least steam out. Let the smoke out, as they, as they say in the college. Um, yeah, well-designed supercapacitors. They're pretty good when you use them properly. Uh, Again, i got to say I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get some some kind of reaction. But, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Take care.